Welcome to the first of us today. We are here to update you on some of our achievements and activities uh, that have not won in recent times. Today we are discussing economic sabotage and the effort of the police being intensified to call oil thefts and of course the arrest of 40 suspects and the recovery of two vessels. The Nigerian police force, as part of this intensified efforts, to call the illegal oil theft an economic sabotage in the country and in conjunction with the military and other relevant security agencies has been an active lesson on intelligence, sharing and collaboration with private security contractors engaged by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, particularly Tatita Security Service. The effort led to the arrest of 40 suspected individuals and recovery of two vessels in two different interceptions at the Ugogoro oil field, Brass area, and Ekening area of southern Nijok in Bayesa State. For conspiracy, tampering with oil pipeline, illegal transportation of crude oil, dealing in crude as tourists seen without lawful authority or appropriate license, amongst others. The suspects were apprehended and subjected to investigation, having established a prima facie case against them. They will be arraigned in court to face charges related to economic sabotage and oil theft, which have been filed. Similarly, vessels used in illegal activities have been seized as part of the evidence against the suspects. Specifically, a remains for suspects involved in the case of one of the vessels is scheduled for 26 February 2024. While the motion for interim for future on the vessel and products contained therein will be held on 19 February 2024. The Inspector General of Police, however, criminal investigations have indicted numerous individuals and companies including their foreign collaborators who will in due course be interrogated and caused to face the full rods of the law. The Inspector General of Police has therefore urged the public to be vigilant and report all suspicious activities related to oil theft and economic sabotage to the police in line with his mandate as enshrined in Section 4, subbracket D of the Police Act 2020, empowering the police to enforce all laws without any prejudice to the enabling hands of other security agencies. The Inspector General of Police stressed that the police is committed to improve synergy with all relevant stakeholders, including other government security agencies, towards putting an end to the legal activities of health theft and economic sabotage in the country and will continue to intensify its strategies and operations to cop sea while not hesitating to bring to justice any individual or group involved in such illegal activity. Another message that we say no killer or criminal will go unpunished. Ever since the gruesome murder of Naiba, a young female resident of the Federal Capital Territory who was kidnapped alongside her sisters and their family residents at the Buhari Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory on the 3rd of January 2024. Nigeria Police Force has dedicated all available resources towards the complete and utter eradication of every act of criminality in the country. Since the launch of the IGP Special Intervention Squad, SIS, the operatives have clamped down heavily on crime and criminality, arresting one Idris Ishaku, aka Yellow, who was part of the kidnapping syndicate involved in the abduction of Naiva and as assistance in many other crimes within and outside Federal Capital Territory. It will recall that on the 27th of January 2024, operatives of the Nigerian police arrested one Bilo Umar who was also part of the same kidnapping syndicate and was in charge of the civil council for each kidnapping operation carried out. 
the operatives of the Nigeria Police Force had engaged this notorious syndicate the previous day and had neutralized some of them, including their gang leader, Mai Gemu, aka Godera, which eventually led to the rescue of the kidnapped hostages and their reunion with their family members. Police operatives on 5th of February had almost neutralized one Issa Dindi, a gang leader of another notorious kidnapping syndicate, which arrived the day day rises of the federal capital territory. And in a similar event, in the early hours of February 8, 2024, the operatives of the RRT engaged and neutralized a group of notorious kidnappers and gun runners along Kifi Gidan Wire Road, Nasarawa State. At noon of February 15, 2024, combined team of the Federal Capital Territory and the Kidnapping Unit and local security operatives working on credible intelligence advanced to a bandit camp at Nasarawa State and engaged the bandits in an intense gun draw, which led to the bandit retreating and the rescue of two kidnapped victims who had been abducted three weeks prior to that time. Further investigation has led to the arrest of one Baidu Abubakar male of 38 years, who has been on the wanted list of the Federal Capital Territory Police Command as an informant to these bandits. On the 15th of February 2024, at about 8 p.m., a report was made at Panshin Division, the two states, that a group of unknown gunmen had invaded the residence of one Ann John Pimmy at GRA Panshin and abducted three persons to a known destination. Upon receipt of this information, police operatives saw the interaction alongside local security operatives and trailed the hoodlums into the bushes along Panshin Dam where they engaged them in a gun battle. Fascinating the superior firepower of the police operatives the Ulongs quickly abandoned the kidnapped victims and fled. The victims were rescued and have been given medical attention. Efforts have been intensified to arrest the fleeing Ulongs. On the same 15th of February 2024, Nigeria police operatives of national states arrested one Daniel Apadia, male, 42 years, for the attempted abduction of one Martha Dogara, female, 31 years, whom the suspect had met on her way returning home on the 13th of February 2024. The suspect had offered her a ride in his vehicle, which she obliged, and on getting to an isolated area, he brought out a knife and stabbed her multiple times. He then tried to force her into the boot of his vehicle, but she managed to raise an alarm to alert people. This made the suspect abandon the victim and fled. Upon arrest of the suspect and a resulting search of his residence, the victim's clothes and bag were recovered, as well as a locally made pistol. Operatives of the Lagos State Command Tactical Team on the 15th of February 2024 at about 10 a.m. also raided several criminal hideouts at the Ijaniki area. Alaska and Era Aziz of Lagos, and arrested 22 suspects, including one in Baker College, male 36, who had been on the wanted list of the Lagos State Police Command. Day by day, the men and officers of the Nigerian Police Force continually strive and intensify efforts to tackle every form of crime and criminality and ensure the transformation of our dear country into heaven of our good citizens. And to the deviants of the society, let it be known that there is no place to hide, no flourish here. They will keep coming for you and eradicating you from our society until we attain the peace and tranquility we hold desire in this country. In the case of Ikiti school pupils kidnapping and the killings of traditional rulers in Ikiti and Kwara respectively, we are sure in Jairus that we are closing in on the suspects and all of them involved will be apprehended in no distant time. On the case in Nasarawa, we have not yet actually got a right from someone. 
The message again is our people should be very conscious of vehicles they pay for nice. We have said it on several occasions. If you want to go to somewhere, always patronize government known and registered parks and gardens. Standing by the roadside, looking for free ride might be very difficult. This is the case of this young girl in Nasada Oasis who actually got a ride from someone and the driver stabbed him, uh, stabbed her repeatedly, wanted to kidnap her, but she was lucky to uh, uh, raise an alarm and of course people uh, came around and the driver fled and she was eventually rescued. And the message again is for them to please, and you have to please patronize registered parks and garages, avoid what we call solid or leaves, or looking for free rides. It is very, very dangerous. We we'll speak more on the incident. We are closing in on some of the suspects. We are working hard to spread our tentacles to equity. We will go a part of Corner State to get these suspects who carried out this uh, deadly attacks and kidnapping of uh, some of the cookies there. The cookies have been rescued, but we always say no suspect or no killer or criminal will go unpunished. You can only run, you cannot hide. We surely get you. Thank you, gentlemen of the press. That's the message for you. We appreciate you. We thank you for coming. Any clarification? Would you go? They are loaded, I guess. They are loaded. So the the vessels are loaded and the contents and everything on the center is called. How many is the size of the vessel? Very large. The, the length for both is 120 meters, I think, by what I can remember. This is large. And, and capacity, and uh, it's, it's, all of them are about 3 meters.